Ooh, what's up, gamers, gamies, and game? That's my name. It's a walk up, or John, and welcome back to Pen Light. Last time, basically. Yeah, the more the hypno. Uh, hypno that's his over there. Worked, and yeah, no. You know, we're discussing about the, the festival thing, and you know, a, a little heretical is like uh, getting into it and I feel like she's developing feelings for the main character, maybe, maybe, who knows and the main character might feel a little bit for her, who knows so let us continue the story shall we with a grunt, Herdico arises from the couch and yeah, oh yeah no, I forgot to mention she like uh, got stuck on the floor so she couldn't move because she was hypnotized not to move so there was that <laughs> alright, sorry with a grunt, Hardico rises from the gr uh, from the couch. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Well, that shit wore me out. All right, talk t uh, talk tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, she's blushing. All right. I think she's start uh, starting to co uh, starting to come around on me. Uh, I knew it. She still tries to hide it, but if she's comfortable enough to fall deep into trance for me. And let me do with uh, that to her, with her, bleh. Makes me doubt she ever thought I was uh, creepy after all. Hey, eh, I don't know about that cue. <laughs> but still, how do I feel about her now? Interesting. Hey, and I was just talking about that, literally. As the new day begins, I walk to the school feeling uncertain. The hypnos, uh, hypnos study and the pen light. I did all of it for Nazumi. Fuck Nazumi. <laughs> Hikatori is actually best girl so far. All right, and yet, Q. Here we go. Somehow I uh, wound up thinking constantly about Heriko. Oh, was that him thinking about her? Not actually him. All right, it's pretty wild now when I think about it. I know I didn't want to waste all my time researching hypnosis and stuff after uh, Nazumi blew me off again, but out of everybody. You're looking a little glum, uh, glum today, Hiroko. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> um, why go out of my way for Hiroko? Just something I noticed, that's all. If you want to talk about- I don't! Alright then. Bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry. I'm just stressing out over the tur tourney and shit. I'll be fine. I still haven't uh, thought of any good answer to that. I'm only half surprised when the doorbell rings. Herco, uh told me she'd be running over from the tennis club to see me again, but I kind of expected her all the same. Hey, weird question. What? Where's your folks? Good question. Oh, they're divorced. It's just me and my dad here. He's out uh, out of the house most, most of the time. Ah, okay. Was wondering about that on the way here. Anyway. Yeah, uh, how'd your tennis go? She grins. Oh, great! None of the scrubs at my club can touch me. Now they're gonna have to take me seriously. Who? Ah, never mind. Well, it's pretty cool that my post-hypnotic uh, suggestions are still working to keep you calm and focused during your games. It's fucking incredible. Does it wear off? It might. I mean, we only did one session for each. It wouldn't be surprise me if it needed uh, reinforcement at some point. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, we're doing it again? Okay. Herdico frowns as she plops down on the couch. One thing I, uh, I don't get. What's that? Why doesn't, uh, why doesn't every sports person have the hypnosis on call? <laughs> why aren't there, like, sports hypnosis? I think there are? Yeah, but, like, you don't hear about them. It's weird. I guess, like, uh, I said, you're not the only one who's been helped by it, but it's pretty wild how much you improved. Mm, coach said I liked, uh, a totally different person when I stepped on a court. I don't think there's any doubt that you're an excellent hypnook subject, Herco. Not just with your tennis, but last night as well. Yeah, I thought of it. It was all stupid bullshit, but I gotta admit, it works. And I dare to bring it up. Oh, don't you dare bring it up. The, the thing you're thinking. I don't know, dude. I don't know about that. And if it's great that we're get, uh, getting on now, isn't it? D don't push your luck. I'm only doing this stuff because it helps me. Ah, uh, 
I share it. Oh, I like the I like the jazz music background. Pretty nice. I wonder who composed it. No other reason. Nope. Uh, we're just using each other. That's it. Uh huh. Okay. If that's how she wants to play it, I won't push for it for now. So then, are you ready to try something else? Uh, like what? I don't know which photo to pick, honestly, on this point. Something a little more challenging, I think, after the last thing worked so great. No perverted shit! Jeez, Herco, I know! I sighed and pinched the bridge of my nose as I tried to think. Okay, how about we... Make you a cat! <laughs> oh, that's my only option. Okay, make you a cat, alright. Yeah, I wonder, I'm wondering how you would... Uh, take being a cat. Is that like a bit of the other dude did uh, making an animal noises and shit? Yeah, but we can take it a little bit further. Try and make you really are a cat for a while. How's that gonna? Uh, never mind. What? You'll probably pull it off somehow, but you know what? That's it. Two thingies is enough for a little hypno show, yeah? Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna push you any further than this. Okay, we try this. You helped me through my tourney this week and I do the culture fest with you and Wave and... Okay. I really thought we had more than this going on, but all right. If this is seriously how she wants to play for now. So I take out my pen light once more. All right then, Herco. So once again, I want you to look into the light. Once again, shine the light in her eyes. That's right, looking and relaxing so naturally. It must be impulsive reaction now for you to relax and drop deeply under this light, Herco. So naturally to cor and correct now to simply to let every bit of attention drain from your body as you stare. So automatically feeling your eyelids droop. That's right. We both know how good you are at drooping under the light. After all, so very good at drooping. Uh, dropping. Why the fuck I said drooping? Dropping. <laughs> dropping. Uh, relaxing, drifting deeper. That's exactly right, Haruko. Eyes completely closing as you go deeper. And sleep. Ellipses. She didn't even complain that time. Just looked and dropped in a double quick time. Deeply asleep, Herco, only my voice needed to be remain in your head. So now, as we know, wonderful, you are visualizing the things I put you to, to you. I want you to visualize what it would be like to be a cat. How a cat, I wonder how this, I wonder if this is gonna be CG on this for cat, all right. How a cat will move. How would it think? How would it act? Can you do that for me, Herco? Yeah. Of course you can. So now, I want you to take the visualiz uh, visualization just a little further, so that you believe you are a cat. Because you really are a cat, Herco. You will think like a cat and act like a cat. And as soon as you're awakened, you will fully embrace this reality. Do you understand, Herco? Understand. I mean, she already has the fang, you know, so might as well. That's great, Herco. That's so great. So now, as I count up to three, you awaken feeling refreshed and accepting what you are. And what you are, Herco? I can't. Yes, you are. I'm gonna count up to now. One, feeling the strength returning to your limbs. Two, taking a nice breath and letting your eyelids open. And three, Herco, wide awake. Dot dot dots. I give her a moment as her eyelids regain their focus before I see them swivel, slightly taken in their surroundings. Herco, talk to me. Meow? How are you feeling? Herco, oh, I thought this was gonna be CG. God, I thought she was gonna have, like, you know, imaginary ears in the tail or something like that, or, like, acting like it. Like, Alright, whatever, it's fine. Her girl just ignores me as she hops down on the couch, landing on her hands while planting her knees on the floor. I can't help but help laugh as she obviously crawls around 
snippet uh, the era she explores. <laughs> Here, kitty. Dot, dot, dot. What if she scratches you? I'm alive. Here, girl. She pads away from me, seemingly content to ignore me. Yeah, that seems like a cat brain to me. But having her just wandering around is no fun. I want to see if I can play with her. And my pen light it just gave me an idea. Maybe it'll work enough for this. Switching it back on, I walk behind her girl's crouched form and shine the beam on the floor in front of her. It's enough to make her stop uh, in her tracks and then suddenly pounce. Look it out. <clears throat> now I got in her attention, I wave the light beam around a little and watches as she stalks it. Her eyes and head tracking the lights irregularly. She crawls along the ground, taking and occasionally swipe at the light with her pawed hands. <clears throat> Whenever I let, get, let her get close, I only then to point the pen light on the couch. Yes! With only a moment of pause, she leads him back on the couch in pursuit, mainly cups on her hand over the light <clears throat> as it shines on the couch cushion. <laughs> What's the matter, kitty? Can't, uh, can't you catch it? Wow! Bitch. <laughs> After weeping, the light over the couch a few times to confuse her more. I bring it back down to the floor and watch as she inevitably goes to hop down beside it. There, I think I better switch off the light before I wear her out too much. As I look down at her paw on the ground as she, as she saw la <clears throat> last side, I really start to regret lacking the foresight to buy one. <laughs> of the cat ears uh, headbands. Oh my god. Meh? Maybe I can get some for the show. Yes! There is CG on the road! But I shake uh, the thought from the mind for now. I realize she's staring up at me from the ground. Uh, oh, wait. No, that's not. Motherfucker. I fucking knew it. I think I pressed the wheel wrong at the at the moments for a second. It's actually pretty cool. I fucking knew it. That's fucking. That is awesome. I'm probably gonna edit and put uh, cat ears in the thumbnail or something. Oh man. Seeing her like this, looking up at me, has such an innocent, wide expression. Damn, that's fucking adorable. Yeah. I can. <laughs> I can. Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing I have water. I guess, I guess I better wake her up, but I don't think this image is gonna leave my head for a while. Crouching down, I look into her eyes and switch the pen light back on to shine, uh, shine it over her curious face once more. Look into the light again, Herco. Good kitty. Eh? <laughs> oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> this is funny. Her eyes glaze over slightly in confusion as they fixated it on the light in my hand. That's it, Herco. Just let the light take you down. There we go. Sleep. Uh, as her head drops, I, uh, I got it into the floor with the rest of her body curled up as on my rug. Well then. Fuck, she looks adorable like this. Nice and deep once more, Herco. Oof, excuse me. And as you go deeper, you will find yourself returning back to your normal human self. You no longer need to visualize yourself as a cat, Herco. You can let all of that go as you let yourself become human self, your human self once again. And now waking up in one, two, three, wide awake, Herco. Her eyelids flicker as she begins to stare up at blurry eye from the rug. Blech, what the, why the fuck am I on the floor? <laughs> you were a cat, like I said you'd be. Okay, but... As she goes to stand up, she holds her hair, uh, hand to her head. I still don't get it! What about it you don't get? Like, you wave that light in my face a few times and suddenly I'm whatever you say I am. I didn't want to think about it, but I now can't stop myself. Think about what? 
You think I really want to do these things for you, Q? Because I don't. But you do your thing on me, and it's like it doesn't matter what I want. I just do it. Aww. You wave your magic light in my face, and well, that's it. My feet are stuck now. Do it again! Blam! Now I'm a kitty cat. Yeah, it might seem that way to you, Haruko. But I'm telling you, you had to do, uh, wait, but I'm telling you, uh, you had to have wanted it on some level. Hypnosis wouldn't work on you otherwise. Yeah, but she cuts herself, uh, uh, she frowns, seemingly deep in thoughts. On some level, okay, maybe that's true. But I meant what I said about being uh, the last one. No other weird shit. You get, you get me? I heard you. I want to do some prep before the festival, but these are the only hypnotic things I'll do. Uh, do you for it? Okay. Anyways, I'm out of here. Aw, I feel bad for her, man. All right. <laughs> As I lie on the bed thinking to myself, it becomes obvious to me. I definitely have a thing for her, Kono. Seeing her like, uh, like she was tonight. How can I not? Not to mention she must have uh, have some feelings for me too, much as she de uh, might deny it. All the things we've done and how fully she committed herself to drop him for me, that can only come from the mind of someone who trusts me completely. Hmm. It's Friday and I'm walking to school feeling unsure. Morning lessons I feel tense. I've barely been able to get concentrated before. But this is worse. Obviously, I'm excited about the prospect doing the culture festival for once. I was nervous at first about performing in front of a bunch of people. But these last few days with her goal have really brought uh, my confidence in me. Plus, if I'm doing this with a cutie like her, then there's really nothing about it to uh, worry about. Speaking of, I can see her girl talking to Nazumi and the other girl they hang out with, wondering what they're saying. I don't dare to get close to ear eavesdrop, so all I can do is eat lunch at my desk and play with my phone as I half listen to chatter of my class uh, mates around me. It started to bother me how I'm never part of that chatter. I've hardly, uh, I've hardly been able to talk with anyone these past few years until these di uh, these dates I had with her It's uh, It used to be I couldn't stand that little shit, but never mind now, it's obvious crushing on me. I'm definitely feeling something for her too. Plot choice, what if she didn't have feelings for her, man? That'd be, that'd be so, actually a little funny. It was so fucked up, but still a little bit funny. As class lets out uh, for the day, I think more and more it. I should tell her. Mm, I don't think so, not yet, or something. I don't, I don't know, man. I loitered in, half a, uh, uh, loitered, eh, loitered in the hall for a minute and decided I'll go see her play today. Uh, mm. So I find myself once more uh, heading for the tennis courts. Q, what the fuck, you dude? I told you not to come back here. She looks uh, to be fuming as she storms over to me while I walk to meet her halfway over an empty tennis court. Hey, please calm down, okay? There's something I gotta get off my chest. I I'm calm. What is it? I'm just gonna get it out there. Be brave for once in my life. I feel like she's gonna deny you or reject you or she's gonna be lot like lying because you know the other people are probably there i don't know man this it can go either way let's see how this is gonna go <laughs> oh my god i like you her oh he's even like i like you her go you uh huh and when i think of, about everything that's gone be on between us this uh <clears throat> these past years i think you like me too um that's not i mean reason <laughs> I knew it! There was something going on! Her girl's eyes widening as she, she's gonna punch you. And uh, she um, realized Risa had cast come over to watch us as a massive grin on her face while her girl's cheeks turned redder and redder. Wait, no! Nothing's happening! I, uh... uh, uh. Her girl's eyes flicker as I smiled as... <laughs> at her deeper, bl uh, deeply blushing face. Hey, it's okay! I... Uh, okay... Oh! She doesn't deny it! Aww, oh, that's adorable! Anyway, I know you needed to practice right now, so I'll see you tonight. Yes, yeah, see you tonight. Q, 
kisser, you tweeb. Oh, plucking up my courage, I hold uh, her go gently and lean to into her ki uh, to kiss her as I re as I hear every time I'm looking Hey, that's a good friend right there. Like, uh, it's like, do it, you fucker. It's like, and you know, she's like, all right, fucking. Oh my god, that's. All right, is this the end? Are we getting close to the end? I want to see the end game of this right now. All right, that's the door. Her lips feel soft as mine play, uh, play against them, while my fingers feel the heat in her delicate cheeks. Herdico, you really are adorable. As I pulled back and smiled at her, she can only look up uh, to me, trembling lips, blushing darkly. What a- oh wait, did the- this change, holy crap, All right. what a beautiful image to take with me as I leave her to practice with Riza. I feel like I'm walking on the air as I walk home. I mean, holy shit, that was- <laughs> sorry, that's good. I think I have a girlfriend now. Uh, hmm. Let's see how this is gonna go. I don't know, we're gonna see how this is gonna play out. I thought this type of thing only happened in one of those romantic comedies. Ha 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 ha. Alright. But I can still feel her lips on mine. It was real, and it happened to me. Huh? Is that her? I barely got home myself. Unless she seriously couldn't bear to wait any longer. She's gonna punch you, I bet. Now I consumed by fires of her passions, and she made her excuse and tore away from the tennis court to embrace the feelings she kept under the wraps for so long. Man, what a thought. Oh, I knew it! Yeah, she's gonna punch you! Uh, okay, if I'm honest, that does not look like the face of someone consumed by the fire of her fashion. She kinda looks like she is on- she is the fire. WHAT THE- <laughs> EVER LOVING FUCK YOU! Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 what are you- I don't have a crush on you, like, holy shit, why would you- would- would you? I knew it! I knew it! I knew this was gonna go on the one way or another fucking twist. She takes a moment to catch her breath while I check the heart pendant anxiously in my chest. But where- wait, wait, I don't understand. That, then why were you, like, blushing and stuff? Because- because I get it. You've been a bitch to me all these years because you couldn't handle the idea that you had feelings for me. But we're- we're adults now. Well, you're still teenagers, kind of, but you're kind of- Alright, uh, uh, Heriko, I thought- it was the time to stop beating around the bush. No, Q! No! I'm just... I mean... She takes another few breaths as she, uh, eyes glisten. I was so fucking mad at you, and then, like, I just forgot how to be mad. Oh, yeah, her hitness, uh, hypnotism type of thing. Aww. Oh. I, I couldn't say anything. You were telling me all the stupid shit, and I didn't know what to do. And... And... <laughs> And the next thing I know, you were, you were gone, and Riza telling me we kissed. Oh, shit. What? You don't remember? No, you must have said some bullshit, and I blacked out. Don't you get it? Wait. We were talking uh, talking on a tennis court, and you fucking, you fucking moron. Shit, she means to tell me she was boiling all over the, with rage the entire time we were talking? That pulse potent hypnotic trigger meant to calm her down could have gone off on her head more than once in the court session. I can't imagine how that must have felt while I was putting the moves on her. Still though, th that doesn't make any sense. The fuck you mean it doesn't make any sense? I can't get mad when I'm standing on court. You made me like that. Yeah, but still, none of this stuff really works unless you want it to work. I told you. So I don't see how it would affect you unless some part of you- NO! I have to jump back a step as she screams in my face. MOTHERFUCKER! YOU GOT ANY IDEA HOW MUCH I HATE YOUR ASS? Like shit, this goes way back. Every class project, every school trip, every lunch period, YOU WERE THERE! Always hanging around me, or Ri, or Nezu, like a bad smell. You never said anything, just wanted us to notice you so bad. Dude! We noticed you. We tried blanking you to get you to get the fuck off, but you never took the hint. Yeah, I mean, I've always been pretty shy, so... Fuck that! You have any idea what it's like always having some dude in your space all the fucking time? We never knew if you were gonna do something. Fuck! We were even seeing you in... when you weren't there. That's how much you got to us. 
Didn't matter how much we tried ignoring you, you always came back. Till I started yelling. That's how the only thing to get your ass away from us. Buzz off, creep! Get the hell out of here, creep! Go fuck yourself, creep! Y yeah, you really made me feel like shit. Fucking good! At least it just, you feel something for what you did. Eriko falls silent as she draws a labor breath and wipes her eyes. Is that how she re really felt about me for all this time? That I hurt them? Why would I hurt any of them? I never did anything to anybody. Why would they even think that? But more to the point. So, why did you agree to do any of this if you really hated me that much? Because I can't lose! What? The tourney I'm playing, if I don't impress anybody there, I'm fucked. <laughs> like you don't get it, dude. I'm 18 and I'm still playing tennis in a shitty high school with with a two-bit coach who ain't shit. Mom and pops can't afford me after I graduate. Graduate. If I don't step it up now, I can't get a scholarship and I'm never gonna make it. Oh, this makes you want to be sad for a bit. <laughs> oh. So, so yeah, remember you showed him and brought me that racket. Yeah, I still took that help. <laughs> and holy shit, did you help? If I played with your hypno stuff in my head, I'm gonna crush it big time. But it ain't me, is it? What did you mean? Of course it was you! Yeah. Like, me, like it was me letting you kiss me and shit. Like I wasn't gonna live that down. You said I I gotta want it for it to work for it. As much as I hate to admit it, she might have a point. I don't know if it happened, but I can't square her profession hatred. And her and the Herco I've known all this time with a blushing and damsel I met on the court. I just don't understand. My hypnosis shouldn't work on you like this. Just get it out of me! What? All that stuff you put in my head, you can take it out again, right? Yeah? I... yeah. Do it! Oh, I feel so bad for her, bro! Oh my god! I feel bad for her. I pulled out the pen like, this is a good twist though, this is a good fucking twist, I'm not gonna lie. I, I called it out way earlier, but you know, still. I pulled out the pen line from the pockets as I looked at her distraught face. You don't think you're being a bit drastic here? At least wait until we're done with uh, the tournament. But Herakle's already sitting down on the living room couch. She wipes her eyes again and looks up at me. Do it! Alright, look up. As she looks up into the light, I look back at her as I pass the light across her face once again. Okay, Herakle, just focus on the light and I'll take care of the rest. Just relax and absorb the soothing patterns of your eyes. Erica breathes a shuddering uh, sigh as I start into sink into the couch. Despite all of her rage and tears, she seemed to just adapt, uh, drop in, into a trance as ever. I'm sure the strain of the watching of those patterns is making your eyelids heavy, making you tired. There's no need to fight it. Let yourself become sleepy. Let yourself relax and sink knowing everything is going to be alright. That's right, Herco. Letting yourself mm, those eyelids drop. Mm. Drew. Oh, it is Drew. It's Drew. Mm. Just letting yourself. Oh my God. Mm. I'm like trying to burp, but I'm just, like kind of stuck there. And I, oh, oh, oh. I know we're having a dramatic moment right now, and I've kind of fucking made up. <laughs> letting yourself sink deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper, letting those droopy eyelids close. And sleep, Herco. Going nice and deep. So, that is it then. I'm just gonna trash everything we did and pretend this week didn't happen. I mean, I get why she feels that she needs to, but surely, if we don't, if we do this now, she'll never be in shape in the, for the tournament she cares so much about. She was so upset, I, I'm not sure she thought about this as much as she should. If I could convince her to keep it, at least until after this weekend, she might thank me later. Maybe even find a way to forgive me for everything she thinks I did to up now. Remove everything we did. Convince her to keep her conditioning. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I don't know, man. I don't know. And we're not even in an hour yet. We're not even in an hour. 
We're like almost 30 minutes in. 30 minutes into this. Oh, let me quick save this though. Alright, so I don't know if I should just keep pressing forward or let the audience decide. I'm just gonna press forward. Alright. Remove everything we did, convince her uh, we should try to keep con her condition. I mean, if she really feels like that, you gotta, like, respect her for that. But, he, he does have a point, you know, like, you know, what was the point of all of this if, you know, you're gonna lose everything? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is hard. I don't know what decision I should make for this one, honestly. I really don't. I'm just gonna go any, mini money mo. Eeny, meeny, money, mo, catch a tucker by the toe. If you wanna let it go, I'm all upset to pick the very best one. And you are it. I T it. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try convincing her. Alright. No, but I, I'm, I'm like a more important person. Like, shit. Uh, I don't know. 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 You know what? You know, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let the people decide on this thing. Alright. I don't know. I don't know. I'm second guessing myself. Ah, I mean, this is why we 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 we, we play like visual novels type of things, man. Like you know, decisions, but we can always come back for it. Okay, I'm gonna be the moral because you know she felt bad, but maybe she isn't thinking clearly. You know. Ah, let's remove everything we did. But no, I really can't make that decision for her. Yeah, okay. That's what she, uh, that is what she wants. Now, Hurko, I want you to think back to the things I've talked to you about while you have been in this nice, deep state of relaxation. Because everything I said to you, you must not just regret any time, any place. You will now think as you would normally think. Act what you normally act. Feel my instructions from the previous days lift from your mind, letting them all disappear. Do you understand, Herko? Yeah. Well, if our last trances were anything to go by, that should do it for her. Very good, Herko. Now on three, you will go going to be oh, wake up feeling refreshed and comfortable, knowing that what you asked for uh, asked of you. Counting up to now, one, two, three. Let out a little sigh as Hariko comes to it. <sighs> there, it's done. Hariko nods quietly. Okay. As she raises from the couch, she looks at, at me. You want to hear something funny? I blinked a little in surprise. What's that? You actually ain't so bad when you're... When you ain't creepy. Creeping. Now I... Think you're just a regular asshole. Oh, what the fuck? Not a creepy asshole. There's a difference. Damn. And with that, she lets herself out. Wait a second. She left her racket here. Here it go. I looked left and right. The racket bag in her, uh, in my hand. She already, um, but she's already nowhere to be seen. Please tell me she didn't leave it behind on purpose. If I fuck this up for her, I'm not sure I can forgive myself. I wake up the uh, following mo uh, morning with a sinking feeling. I can't stop th uh, thinking about her goal and last night. I really fucked things up with her. I can't imagine what she's going through her head right now. Is she even training for the tournament? If she left that new racket behind, does that mean I have to know? Oh yeah, that's right, Kiru did buy her a new racket. I quickly showered and head outside, clutching the racket tightly. The school will be open today in order to accommodate the various cl sports clubs doing the competitive matches. Hurricane should be at the courts practicing for a big day tomorrow. As I scramble for the courts, I see a familiar face. Chris, ball boy. Hmm. Or is it little boy now? I can't decide. <laughs> But no sign of. Is Q. Oh, he's not wearing the. Okay. Is Q? It's Q. Uh, where is she? If you're talking about your girlfriend, I haven't seen her yet. I sighed. Okay, I gotta clear things up. Hmm? She's not my girlfriend. I made a move on her and I should have. And I hurt her. Wait. Are you serious? 
It sure doesn't look like the way from where I was standing. I, uh, I know, I, I sort of ambushed her and I guess I made it awkward, so... Q, what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> I wheeled around my face and with familiar shrill of sound. Uh, a, a lot of reasons. I got, I got time to hear your shit. Wait, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't I really apologize for before. Yeah, that's really fucked up. Uh, that, that really fucked me up, and you know it. I don't mean that. I don't just mean yesterday. I'm talking about before then too. I really didn't know I was freaking you guys out, and I didn't really know what to say. But it's no excuse. I should have backed off when you told me to. I, but I chose to be selfish instead. I heard you, Erko, and I'm sorry for that. Oh, all right, there we go. Here, here fucking, there you go. And oh, uh, and. I hold out the rocket bag, and I've been carrying it all morning. You dropped this. I don't want it. I won't hold it. I'll hold you to anything if you... Uh, that's what you're thinking. Consider it a part of, uh, of an apology. Besides, how am I going to return this? I got a scoffed... Uh, uh, I got scoff marks all over it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hercule's really big on rocket abuse. Get it! So, <laughs> uh, you may as well keep it. As I keep it held out, she gingerly reaches out <clears throat> to take the racket back, slowly unzipping the back. By the way, how long are you two planning on staying on, uh, out here? As long as we need to, why? Eh, need a ball boy? Herka lets out a chuckle as she rips uh, <laughs> the, the racket back open. Just try and keep up, ball boy. Aw, oh, that's nice. Alright. Ah, fuck! It was 50 50 shot. Hero, don't, don't worry about it. Well, like, I don't know, 1090, gonna keep missing him. If Coach was here, he could have helped me figure it out. But nah, he didn't work weekends, lazy ass. Oh, yeah, oh, that was her. You'll figure it out, just keep at it. As I jog over the collect and spend the ball from the uh, ladies' errand snot, I wonder as if Riza noticed her partner's change in demeanor back to her old self. Maybe she just thinks the pressure of tomorrow is getting to her. Ah! Ah! Reason, uh, pra uh, practically eats the floor as she trembles to avoid of one of her goes painted double forehand lying towards her head. Jeez, Horo. Save that for the ball boy, will ya? <laughs> my ban. Huh? I think that one landed in. Of course it did. I'm nailing my rage right now. I chuckled before, taking a sip of... The cola I brought over during, the, during our last break. We've been at this for hours now. And you two look exhausted. Uh, you sure you can keep going? Exhausted? Risa, uh, who I noticed panting, audibly smirks towards her playing partner. Hero, you t you're gonna take that crap lying down. Hell, if he's complaining, he can go home. Uh, I was just saying. Alright, <laughs> Erico turns to me with a chuckle. <laughs> nah, for real though. We're gonna take a break, uh, a bit. Ah! Erico, you okay? Yeah, yeah. If I didn't just get a crap, fuck. <sighs> okay, yeah, we're done. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> oh, sorry for the squeaky chair if you hear it. Taking the bricks here and there, but for the most part, the three three of us spent the entire day out here. Are you gonna be okay getting home? Uh, oh yeah, my house isn't far from here. Yeah, same. I gotta rest up a sec though. Risa wipes off uh, her rocket with a towel and packs up her things while the Hurricane retreats to a nearby bench and starts massaging her calves. Are you sure you're alright, Hurricane? Oh yeah, this is nothing. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Risa smiles and waves to, uh, to her hand before turning to me. Thanks for helping us today, hero. Not hero's not boyfriend. <laughs> I winched a little. I guess it's not surprising she doesn't quite believe me out of today. You mind keeping an eye on her? I really need to head on. It's Q, and yeah, I'll stay with her. Good, and I'll expect you to be watching us tomorrow. Uh, so I'll see you then. Yeah, see you. Oh, oh my god, excuse me, Jesus Christ. Uh, as Riza 
walks on. I go to join her, uh, Hiroko, on the bench. Ah, she pinches the back of her leg. Hey, are you okay? Didn't you get injured, did you? Ah, I didn't pull any muscle or nothing. I'm just fucking tired. Maybe I overdid it. She sighs, then looks to me. Thanks. It was nothing. The least I could do uh, after fucking up your week. Oh, for sure. I almost didn't come out here today. But how's it? Uh, how's that going? I'm gonna look. My whole life's been building up to this moment. I ain't backing out now. For what it's worth, I think you're still gonna crush it. She smirks. Dude, I get it. You're trying to make things right. I appreciate that. And I was thinking about it, all that stuff we did. Like, I don't know if you knew it, but you probably could have done all kinds of perf shit with me and got in the way with it. But I don't think you ever tried. Don't know if you ever even crossed that in your mind. I guess that's got to count for something. So where does that leave us, do you think? Uh, do you think? She lets out a question linger in for a moment before she opens her eyes to look at me. I don't know. Leaves us somewhere, though. Transition. Alright, tournament arc! It's been a few weeks since that day. Now I know you guys are here feeling very relaxed right now. Taking a nice, slow, deep breaths. Oh, he's doing the festival! Oh, interesting! Hmm. But I want to tell you all uh, how you can drop into the even deeper sleep. So here's what is going to happen. I'm going to count slowly backwards from 5 to 1. You're going to listen to the numbers I'm counting. And with every number you hear me count, I want you to sink even deeper into the blissful relaxation you're feeling. Who the fuck is that? And by the time we reach the number, every muscle in your body from your head all the way down to your toes is going to be extremely deeply relaxed. Come on! There's no way this is real. Let's all start this count by taking a nice deep breath. Full breath, everybody. <laughs> As the seated people around me start sulking into the deep breaths, I spare a glance for the mostly hushed audience in the classroom. Taking in everything, I pause to reflection of what's happening here. Like, holy shit, I'm actually doing it. This <laughs> and now, let that breath slowly seep out of you as we start. Five. Risa. That guy there's totally faking it. You can tell. <laughs> Damn it, Risa. Sayur. Shh. Just sinking down slowly, feeling your legs getting looser and limper. Letting all the tension draining out of your feet so naturally. And taking another deep breath for me, that's right. Four, feeling all the remaining tensions of the back vanish, nice and relaxed as you drop deeper and deeper. Are they really doing this? Another deep breath. Three, exhale and letting all the tensions drain out of your shoulders, feeling it all drop away, going deeper and deeper. There's a little whoop from the crowd as I spotted someone about to fall in off her chair. I walked over and touched her shoulder gently to make sure she doesn't fall over her head. And to you, whose shoulder I am now touching, your butt is stuck to the seat of the chair. Understand? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking way. This fucking guy. <laughs> Isn't that the girl from last year? That fake chicken lady. Shush. That's right. Feeling so loose, so limp. And now taking another deep breath from with me. And exhale. Two of all tensions draining from your neck. Now relaxing. So deep feeling to loose. There is another excitement to whoop. As I notice the guy on the other end of the row of the chairs. Is closing to suffering as the same fate as Nozumi. I better help him out too. And now I am touching your shoulder. Your butt is also stuck solidly to your chair, understood? Uh, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Okay, and now, one more deep breath with me. So close to going all the way down deep breath. 
I listened to it once, uh, once more. Uh, they was seated in front of me. <clears throat> and some of the crowd, it seems, draw another breath. The audience seems to be rather than getting into this now as they reacted to the participants lumped over each other and more and barely able to stand on their seats. Those noises you hear from the audience only take you deeper down. Boys and girls only take you deeper and deeper. And now, oh well, okay, he's there. This is the final number. There will be nothing left. You will be dropping effortlessly into the deepest sleep and not deep enough tension anywhere of your body. Are you ready? Exhale slowly. Now. One. There's another excitement of whoop from the audience members as the guy to my left pretty much collapses onto poor Nazumi, who nevertheless holds faster in her seat. And yeah, I can tell that this guy see on the end is bacon. Whatever, so long as uh, he plays along. That's right, so deeply relaxed, all the tension completely gone off from your body, feeling so completely hypnotized. With the eye on the clock, I can see I need to wrap this up soon. I was a bit nervous to start, and it took a while for to find a couple, uh, <clears throat> find more than a couple of volunteers for this stuff. But that's okay, I can still do one more trick with them, just like I rehearsed. I'll just start by reaching down and touching the shoulder of someone I know will be reliable. But now, you, and only you, whose shoulder I am currently touching, can sit back up into your chair. Ah, oh, you f- <laughs> She did actually- Oh, that's nice. Well, she did help him out, after all. Alright. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> Leave her alone, ball boy. As I spoke to you all with- Realize that you are now a cat. You will be only be able to think and act like a cat. Do you understand? No fucking way. This is fucking funny, honestly, a little bit. Meh. <laughs> that get uh, uh, that gets a loud chuckle from everybody on its own. Now, when I snap my fingers, her go. You will be able to leave your seat and roam around the stage as a cat. Three, two. One, and it, it cuts to fade, fade to black as soon as he does that. Meow. <laughs> oh my god, the audience erupts as she drops on all fours her chair and crawls around the stage for a moment before crouching to lick her hand. Oh my god. Wait, she should have got the cat ears. That would have been funnier. Oh, man. All right. <clears throat> I looked over, uh, look her over before moving on, just to quickly check on her, as I know she's been anxiously about doing this stuff in public. But I smile as she seems content at Miss uh, the cutoffery of laughter before her. Now I clap my hand on the shoulder of the guy at the end of the row, the one I think is faking. Let's see how it go. Uh, let's see how good of an actor he is. And now you, whose shoulder I am touching. You can sit up, uh, sit back up in your chair and realize you are a dog. You will only be able to think and act like a dog, understand? Uh, woof? <laughs> Fake! Risa, please. What? So when, now when I snap my fingers, you will be able to leave your seat and roam the stage as a dog. Three, two, one. Oh, man. Alright, and at the snap of my finger, uh, the guy drops on all fours and starts barking, somewhat unconvincingly, which Herco immediately seems to notice. <laughs> oh my god. I watched uh, with the audience as, she, as he crawls over to Herco, crouched for him, barking intermittently. Oh! And in response, she turns towards him and assumes a menacing stance as she's about to pounce. <laughs> like, like seriously <laughs> oh yeah oh so he's faking uh, oh shit I can't stop myself from laughing with everyone else as Herco leaves at the guy swinging her paws and narrowly missing his cheek before he jumps up to his feet and runs off the stage with Herco in hot pursuits thankfully she doesn't chase him beyond the stage as he flees to the audience I I don't know what else I expected. Uh, okay, Herco, come over here. Good kitty. I smile. <laughs> and she smiles back and pads over to me on all fours for him. 
That's a good kitty now. Taking her hand in mine, I tug firmly across and raise my voice. Sleep! As she droops, I guide her gently to the floor. Good kitty, now nice and deep. But as I looked up at Mr. Kuyo Kobayashi, pointing in his wrist, <laughs> time's up. Okay. Well, I hope everyone's enjoyed that, and don't worry, and I will make sure that they're all back to Norm before I let them go. Enjoy the rest of the festival. <laughs> I'm beaming with pride from the time as I get a party round of applause. But I can't enjoy it too much right now. I need to attend the volunteers before uh, the next act is up. Oh, well, okay. She looks very tired. So, uh, what did you think? After all that was said and done, I met up with Hurricane Nozumi and their friends while the rest of the culture fest, uh, fest carried on without us. It was interesting on how you showed different uh, from Satoshi's last year. Although more entertainment to me was it, uh, the involvement of these two. <laughs> right. I mean, I was sort of expecting to see a fake chicken lady again. Uh, not now. Wait, wait a minute. But you, Haro, putting up on the show like that. Didn't think you had to be up for this sort of thing. I was play a painting back for the racket, you know, sides. She lets out a moment pass in silence before shrugging. It was pretty fun. Yes. It was a shame you didn't have more time for your act. I did what I could, but there was a lot of people wanted to perform this year. I'm just happy it went okay, and after that, I kind of wanted to do it again real soon. Well, let me know when you, uh, let me know when, and I'll be absolutely do everything I can to help. Here we go. Oh, oh, is it, uh, oh, okay. Dot 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 dot. Oh, well, I mean, as a class representative. Uh, I should be encouraging positive development of all my fellow classmates, and besides, uh, I just remember I need to tell my parents something, and I think I saw them outside. Okay, bye! The fuck's got into her? I have a theory, but I would not worry about it. Eh, well, it's cool. She's was up there with me. Really helped me out. Speaking of which, you really helped me out, Herco. I seriously couldn't have done this without you. As her girl smiles back at me, Sari returns to me as well. Well, congratulations to the both of you. It was a pleasure to watch. But now, unlike some others I might mention, I do actually need to find my parents. They see too little of me as it is. <laughs> as I'm going to wander, there's a few stalls I want to check out before everything closes. Bye, you two! As the others take their leaves, I turn my attention back to my assistant for tonight. I'm really glad you changed your mind about all this. Well, you did reckon it was all down to the light of thingy you had. Yeah, about how that was doing that weird shit to me. Yeah, and it was the only thing I could think of that was different of how anyone else does this stuff. Uh-huh. And we've done it a few times without saying that. Yeah, it's different. It ain't so intense. Feels like I uh, get, get to say about what goes on and what doesn't. What are you gonna do with it anyway? I'm not sure. I leave it at home now until I figure out maybe, maybe research it as some um, when I get a chance. Right, right. She turns to look out the window. Oh, anime dramatic moment. All right, uh, windows in size. While the distance background chatter and excitement, students and their parents fills out our silence. What's the matter? Hmm. Come on, let's go outside. Oh, what's going on here? Just as she asks, I follow her uh, out into the slightly chilly uh, out <laughs> autumn air. I figured she wanted to visit the outdoor festival stalls, but no, she leads me to the currently neglected tennis courts. I sent out the scholarship apps today. Yeah, and how are you feeling about that? Pretty good. I def made an impression the other week. Even if that one dude would not shut up about my forehead. It's so unorthodox. Have you ever considered changing to do something more con uh, conversational? Like, I don't know, my own style? Fucking jackass. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, I think you did plenty out there, and I hope they give it to you. 
Yeah, thanks, dude. What about you, though? You figured out what you want yet? I think I want to... I'm gonna go to psychology, which, man, until this year, I never thought I'd be saying that. That hypno bug bit, uh, bit you hard, huh? What we did just now pretty much sealed the deal, yeah. Herco grins, then lifted her uh, hand as her hair. Well, I mean, if you want to keep doing it. What? Right, uh, this, uh, this is fucking stupid, but uh, I trust you now. I trust you a lot. It's stupid, right? I, uh, no? After having a moment to think, I clear my throat and assert myself. What we did together needed an incredible amount of trust. And I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have to put the trust in me if you knew what you were really getting yourself into. But I want, want to be worthy of your trust now, Hurko. See, yeah, uh, that's what I was thinking. But get a pocket watch and put that light thingy in the bin, okay? You don't need that shit. I nod at her, and I still like uh, to study that thing. But after uh, what I pulled off tonight, I guess she's right. So wait, what does that make us now? Hmm? Friends? Hypno buddies? Or? Hergo looks at me in the eyes and smiles, and she takes by my meaning only to avert them as a gaze with a frown. Oh, wait, what's the matter? Reese is gonna rub this in my face till I die, and she doesn't know the shit we've been through. It's fucking unfair. Yeah, I get that, but do you really care what she thinks? She sighs. Just pisses me off, his odd. Yeah, I know. How's it gonna look? You didn't answer me, though. Erica frowns in a thought as she looks past me. Then breaks into a smile as she makes a grab for my hand before dragging me back towards the festivals. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is the good ending right here. This is the fucking good ending right here. This is fucking a nice episode end for the Hurricane route. That is for sure. Right. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'll make you a deal. Let's let's finish the festival together. Man, I'll tell you. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. <laughs> See, I knew we picked the right end, even though I was fucking like didn't know what the fuck, and then I made you, wanted you guys to like pick the answer. But you know, this is nice. This is nice. Fade on to transition. Ah, Angela DiMello, you did really great in this writing, honestly. This was great. Guys, check out this game. It's fucking beautiful. It's both in English and in Spanish. Like, oh god. I like it. I like the ending. Hercules Best Girl. Don't change my mind on it. Fucking fantastic man that was great writing honestly great twists and stuff like honestly phenomenal and fantastic really love the cg and like the characters and the character development in this story and i like the music too it's pretty great honestly so i hope you guys enjoy this final episode of pen light of the Hurricane routes let me know if you guys want uh, me to do the other routes of uh, uh like you know uh I forgot their names. The one with the glasses and the one that kind and the one named Sayori. And you know, till next time, guys. Uh, well, I don't know if there's gonna be end credit. I kind of want to see it. This go. I mean, yeah, it shows all the end credits. So I'm just gonna wait in for a second. If not, I'll probably edit it out. If anything. Thank you for playing. All right. Thank you guys for watching. So without further ado, I hope you guys have a good night, good evening, good morning from where from. So peace out and sayonara. Bye bye.